Hi right guys, uh, just another little product review. Um, this time it's the Flames of War M4A1 76mm Sherman Tank Platoon. Uh, in this box set you get five Sherman tanks. The front and the back gives a little uh, uh, assembly diagram and picture of the five tanks. That's that. Oops, and that's the box insert again. Very nicely packaged. There's one thing I've noticed about the Flames of War stuff is the packaging is awesome. There you go, that's the inside of the box. Again, very nicely cast uh, bodies and turrets. One thing I have noticed about the Flames of War stuff so far is the lack of flash on the resin. I mean, I think they're already pre-washed. Of course, on the bottom of the turrets, they've been sanded. And on the bottom of the holes, they've already been sanded. And there's no dust or bits or gates or anything at all. I've not even seen a mould line, to be fair. They're absolutely brilliant. Very well done. Very well done. Uh, this set comes with plastic parts for the Shermans. So there's the track assemblies. And you've got the various hatches. 75mm uh, gun for the shorter barreled uh, gun. That's the 76mm gun. And the 50 cal anti-aircraft uh, machine gun for the commander's cupola uh, so you obviously get five sets of those all the, all identical um, you get a set of water slide decals or transfers or whatever you want to call them various stars and tank numbers and names and so on very nice And then, uh, somewhere, are the metal components. Are they in there? <laughs> Sorry about this, guys. Oh, I think they're in this one. Yeah, so, half a tank commander bloke pointing at his map. His tank helmet on and uh, yeah, pair of goggles. I don't know if you guys can make that out, but yeah, very nicely done. There's a little bit. Oops. Got some stowage, blanket rolls, spare wheels, helmets, tank tracks. All for sticking on your tanks. You get plenty of stowage with these, which is really good. I like that. And you get some jerry cans. Bar uh, barrel. Various other bits and bobs. And some Cullen Hedgerow devices. Which were in the, uh, the bocage. The tanks couldn't actually break through the hedges. So what they did, they cut up a load of the girders off the beaches on uh, Normandy and stuck these to the front of the tanks and drove through the hedges with them, <laughs> which is brilliant. So you get five of those, and more storage and more little tank commanders, the same guy again. Go have a look around, see what's what. Again, nicely done. And of course, the magnets for your turrets, which I think is absolutely awesome. That everything you could possibly need to build these tanks is in this kit, which to me is just outstanding. So yeah, there you go, guys. Uh, hope you like this little review. Um, 
Like if you like, subscribe if you like, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Bye. Bye.